running for him. A couple of dance steps. Kicks oh. it inside to Jones. 45. Oh, he dropped it, Jones. Spit it before he'd earned it. Might still work for them. Sparrow, goal square. Watts got back and marked it on the line. Wow. Nathan Jones. All that experience. And he fluffed it. And out here, Butters has been working. He's got plenty of petrol, so if they can get it to him. Boca around the body. Butters thinks about getting and going. He slaps it on. Gray got there. Dropped it. Advantage paid. Boat gives it on. Marshall gets a chance to spend it. West off. Goal square. Got it. He marked it when Jones didn't. Butters' just knock on there was an absolute ripper. He got enough of it, didn't he? Sometimes that's a panic play, but he hit that beautifully. Regardless, has been awesome. And Port Adelaide parlay that into there. Again, there was Port players in his face. Gray for Butters. Cleverly to Drew. The hand's amazingly clean. And the Port team come as one. Charging through the middle, Dersma. Stevie Mudlop again. Just to let you know, I mean, the no-looker, if you don't mind... Clean in the conditions, hit his teammate in stride. They've done a lot of great things this morning, uh, this afternoon, the young power players. But well, there's three of them there in yeah. the one play. Yeah, that handball from Zach Butters was incredible. So Lysett was there looking to contest the ruck. So they had two ruckmen going at it there, Port Adelaide. So they infringed with a free kick and a terrible mistake. It opens the door. Rosie on the boot, working it back. It's tight. It is there. He punishes the mistake, Connor Rosie. He's got two. So, two bad mistakes, one either way. And then... Saw off stack, back to Pal Pepper. Panic there. Yeah, that's no good. Aimless kick, really. Buys them some time. Grimes. They've got to work their way through this, the Tigers. McIntosh goes oh. back. Oh. All about LBW went straight through. Brought in all sorts of trouble. Boat, how pivotal this kick is. Sam Gray says thank you very much. Mate Sam Gray, it ends well for him. Slick hands from Port. Marshall knew he had to move it quickly. Butters slicing through the middle and threads the next handball. Great cohesion from Port. Power Pepper to Sam Gray. Next slick in the chain out wide. It's set awkwardly. Dersma's marked it. Dersma can stroll in and finish it. What a start from Port. And their kids, a big part of that passage of play. Just brilliant handball, releasing quick players into space here from Port Adelaide. It's been a feature. They've always wanted to go quicker this year. You can hear the narrative out of them throughout the preseason, and this is just slicing West Coast through the middle of the ground. Dersma did the rest, ran in, and finished beautifully. Off a sort of step, gets it out towards Westhoff, who belts it forward towards Drew. Drew won a terrific contest against Pollock, pushes it forward. Butters was so clever there. Kicks to fall forward. Rosie! Butters to Rosie! It's a... Brought the crowd up. And, the... and he didn't try to over, overdo the mark. It was just a nice little knee. Push his opponent under the under the footy, just enough to mark it. Didn't try to go for mark of the year. Got it. Memorable stuff. And look, look at Butters as well. Butters has been compared with a young Robbie Gray for his move. But Jones fell, recovers, got the little handball there away here. Dersma exits the ball magnificently to Westhoff. Westhoff can go deep to the one-on-one. -on -one. This is good positioning here. Amon couldn't quite reel it in. What about the rosy kick? The Ebert, the nice head. It's brilliant. They're coming back. They're back within 29 points, Port Adelaide. Rosie is so clever. I mean, that tiny... Well called, BT. That tiny little touch, the second time he's... Ah, Mark from 10 metres out. A lot of stretching for this. another go here. Greenwood stays down this time. Hits the deck. Eddie Betts territory. Westhoff weaves his way through. Johnson can get and go, but he doesn't get. Now he can go, but he falls. Power Pepper. Howard. Straight down the spine. Looks up. Race on. Duke. 
in the marking contest, wins a free. Gee, yeah. Abai's going to bring it back. The goal could count. The goal might count. No, he's bringing it back, Dwayne. And no advantage. Why would he play advantage? And actually, the, he has played advantage, hasn't he? He has played his bonus. So no eyes on the ball is the only mistake Jake Kelly makes here. And a good decision by the umpire. Howard's made a huge difference going forward. Building the Suns. And on the counter-attack, they've got numbers oh. everywhere. King almost. Garner across the first gamer to save the day with the spoil. The boy was so good. He came off Sexton. Sexton probably could have run a bit more width on him. And the two debutants involved in that one-on-one -on -one there. It's really well done by Joel Garner. Brilliant. Now Port Adelaide have an overlap on the wing. It's out to lice it. And Big Ruckman doesn't break stride. He'll send it long inside 50 to Gray. <laughs> Great footy by Garner back there. Might have saved him to go and set one up. Yeah. Sam Gray. He'll open up the angle around the corner. No problems with that at all. And the power had to lead back. All the big men for Port Adelaide on the other side of the field. They're about 100 metres away from where the foot is. They were almost enticing West off to try that kick to Broad. Benny got it there. Robbie Gray back inside to Jonas. And it opens up the corridor. Burn Jones. Could have gone long over the back. Ryder now sees he's got an option over the back. Puts it in the rosy direction. Got there. Turns inside, handed it off. Huge kick for Amon and for Port Adelaide and this game. Well, that's the best transition we've seen all day by Port Adelaide. Just struggling to get out of Hawthorne's forward 50, but finally they hit that kick back inside. They switched twice. They went to the open side of the field. Arson under it, got hands on it. Crum for Nunes. Not a lot to go to. Kick smothered. Butters kept it alive, pokes it to Dersma. That's as good as it gets from the kid. Butters still 18 years of age. Connor Rosie, 19 years of age. Just evidence there. Never give up on the contest. Well played by Butters. And here comes Xavier Dersma, 18 years of age as well. And that was never in doubt from the moment Leather met Leather. Back, but rolling through the midfield with injuries to Wines and Rockcliffe. Had 28 touches in the Powers last game over there in China. Off hands here, Ryder did it well to Butters. Robbie Gray, Boat, a couple of extra handballs in there, but they get the finish they were looking for through Travis Boak. Well, that's why I love Dougal Howard for it's a terrific intercept marker for Port Adelaide, but they've thrown him forward the last couple of weeks. He sort of pinch hit there a couple of times. But look at that contest, crash the pack. Two Freeman players trying to come back to the drop of the ball. Travis Bug snaps around the corner, similar to last week in China. Lysett bold enough to take it out of the ruck. And this is Joel Garner. Great to see him out there. Young man from Scotch College in Melbourne. Had some injury concerns, but very talented young man. The power at the back. Even he's got Dougal Howard. If he puts his head up, he's going to put it out in front. Well weighted ball. And Dougal, he thought about going. He does now. Aim on Connor Rosie. The power get their second. Connor Rosie is their lead. Night is there. <laughs> Boke belting forward. Laddams, well done. Ball spread wide. Dixon. That's a good kick. And that's a good mark. Great work by Gray and Dixon. Can he nail it? He's got it home. Gray gets his first. They needed it. With hands on. Talia thumped it away. Brad Crouch has it his way into Robbie Gray. Ball through traffic. Amon. Motlop. Threads the eye of the needle. Wines. Amon. Butters. Good run. Darcy Byrne Jones. He looks for Lysette. He's run on. He's got a few hops back. Big Lysette. Knee injury earlier. Takes them on. He wants to equal Texas moment. Oh. Yes, that <laughs> just happened. How big was that? He is pumped, Scott Lysette. Now, we spoke about the PCL injury. He didn't want to jump in the ruck contest in that second term. 
but he has continued to work around the ground. And he is just working his opponent here, running into open space now. He turns like the Queen Mary, but he thinks, I've just got enough gas to get past Riley O'Brien. And then the finish was exquisite. First half, and they're going to need probably 10 minimum, and they're going to win the game. Nice set. Deep probing ball. Dixon had his opportunity. He gets a second one. Well done. And he takes it. There's a start for you. Charlie's a bit revved up. That is a man who's not seen them all that well coming in. But when you do this, then the whole mindset changes. The ball. Familiar sight. Inside of forward 50. Dixon. Rucked, roved. And then Avon. Twice, Charlie Dixon has almost single-handedly got Port Adelaide a goal. He's had me a, a good quarter, Charlie Dixon, but it's the last couple of ruck contests that they've actually grabbed the ball out of the ruck against against Child. Lysette did it defensively, which was a risk, but got away with it, and Charlie Dixon there, perfect place to do it if you can. And Amon with the wraparound. Nice finish. Mumford lopes toward it. He wanted to take the ball, and Sam Gray wrapped him up. He brought the big man down. It was like Ahab. <laughs> he rode Moby Dick all the way to the bottom. That is just a spectacular tackle. He just thought he'd run through the tackle and give the hand pass away. He locked one. Lock. Harris did want to get it out. Both tries to bullock his way forward. Gray, oh, look oh. at the handball from Gray. And the shot at goal from Sutcliffe, I think he's got it. He's kicked the goal. What a goal, what a play by Port Adelaide. Gee. How did, a, oh, how did he get there? That's the first question. Then you tell me, like, how does Robert, Gr Robbie, Robbie Gray, Robert, be on his own 15 metres? And then that's just, that's class. Oh, that's what we know he's good about. But the Sart, you can ask the question to it's the most dangerous forward on the ground. You've left him 10 metres on his own inside 50. So it's a really good start. Really good start for Port Adelaide. Thumping handball, Marley Williams. He goes to ground. That should be holding the ball. Might not matter. Rosie will kick it anyway. So the really talented young man hits the scoreboard. And uh, they get one back. It's Fort Hart, Connor Rosie. In, when you're a first year the square from Houston thump clear to Matera nice pick up but horrible handle straight to West off to Bonner drop oh. step and he can kick a long ball as well outstanding stuff from Riley Bonner it was brilliant it really was on the back of being able to pick off here a poor handball from Matera trying to allow Hill to run onto it West off was all over it and then you got Bonner that's a good finish to step like that. You yep. caught it well, Dwayne, and then just one step and straighten himself up to put it through. It was a great effort. Matera would like his time again there. Well done by the Hoff to cover it off. Unfirst error.